Hi friends, welcome to the English Fluency course day 16. Today in this video, we are going to learn question tags with the present simple tense. What are question tags? Question tags are the short questions that we put at the end of sentences, particularly in spoken English. You have money, don't you? Question tags are more common in speaking than writing. We often use question tags when we expect the listener to agree with our statement. We use question tags when we expect the listener to agree with our statement. You have money. I expect the listener to agree with my statement. My statement is you have money. So when I expect the listener to agree with my statement, then I use question tag. Question tags are short questions. Don't you use short question. You have money. This is my statement. And I expect the listener to agree with my statement. You have money, don't you? In this case, when the statement is positive, we use a negative question tag. Here you see the statement is positive. You have money. And question tag is negative. In this case, when the statement is positive, we use a negative question tag. She has money is a positive statement. And question tag will be negative. She has money, doesn't she? If the statement is negative, we use a positive question tag. If the statement is negative, we use a positive question tag. She doesn't have money. Here the statement is the negative. So the question tag will be positive. She doesn't have money, does she? If the statement is positive, question tag will be negative. If the statement is negative, question tag will be positive. Here, she has money is a positive statement. So, question tag will be negative, doesn't she? If the statement is negative, we use a positive question tag. She doesn't have money, does she? She doesn't have money. This is negative statement. So, question tag will be positive. For I, we, you, they, we have to use either do or don't. If the statement is negative, we have to use do. If the statement is positive, we have to use don't. Next, if the subject is he, she, it, we have to use either does or doesn't. He speaks English. Statement is positive. So, question tag will be negative. Doesn't he? He speaks English. Doesn't he? He does not speak English. Does he? A positive statement is followed by a negative question tag. Example, I have money, don't I? A positive statement is followed by a negative question tag. Positive statement is I have money. And question tag is don't I? I have no time. I have no time. I have no time means I don't have time. So the statement is negative. Question tag will be positive. Do I? I have no time. What is the question tag for I have no time? Do I? A negative statement is followed by a positive statement. A negative statement is followed by a positive statement. He doesn't have time. Does he? He doesn't have time is negative statement. So the question tag will be positive. Does he? He is a doctor. This is positive statement. He is a doctor, isn't he? He is not a doctor. This is negative statement. So question tag will be positive. He is not a doctor, is he? Is he? They are our friends, aren't they? They are they are your friends, aren't they? They are your friends is positive statement. So question tag will be negative. They are not your friends. This is a negative statement, so question tag will be positive. We are your well wishers. We are your well wishers. This is positive statement. So question tag will be negative, aren't we? We are not your well wishers. This is a negative statement, so question tag will be positive. Why do we use question tags? When we expect the listener to agree with our statement, we have to use 
question tags right i'm a student aren't i i'm a student aren't i this is exceptional this is exceptional i'm a student actually we have to use yaman type but here i'm a student for i am a student we have to say aren't i you need to remember this the statements negative i am not a student yeah my i am not a student yeah my i am a student when the statement is positive if the subject is i then we have to use the negative question tag that is on time not am and time on time i am a student on time i am not a student yeah my let us see some more examples your sister lives in america your sister lives in america doesn't she question tag is doesn't she because the statement is positive your sister lives in america with he she it does or doesn't we have to use if the statement is positive we have to use doesn't if the statement is negative we have to use does your sister lives in america doesn't she your sister doesn't live in america does she your sister doesn't live in america this is a negative statement so the question tag is positive your brother knows english your brother knows english doesn't he your brother knows english doesn't he your brother doesn't know english does he your brother doesn't know english does he your brother doesn't know english is negative statement so the question tag is positive your brother knows english this is positive statement so question tag will be negative you know english very well don't you you know english very well don't you you don't know english very well do you you don't know english very well is negative statement so the qu qu question tag is positive you know english very well is positive statement so question tag is negative you are never on time are you you are never on time you are never on time is a negative statement so the question tag is positive you are always on time you are always on time aren't you he is here isn't he he isn't here is he he is here this is positive statement so question tag is negative he is here isn't he he isn't here this is negative statement so question tag is positive let's see one more example your sister cooks well doesn't she your sister cooks well doesn't she your sister cooks well is positive statement so the question tag is negative your sister doesn't cook well this is a negative statement so question tag is positive she can swim well she can swim well this is positive statement so question tag is negative can't she she can swim well can't she she cannot swim well can she you are free aren't you you are free aren't you you are not free are you if the statement is positive question tag will be negative if the statement is negative question tag will be positive that's all you have to remember let us see one more example your brother doesn't work hard does he your brother doesn't work hard is a negative statement your brother doesn't work hard this is a negative statement we have to remove that not and add subject what is the subject in the sentence your brother so in the place of subject we wrote he if it is your sister then we have to write she does she for example your sister doesn't work hard does she your brother doesn't work hard does he i don't work hard do i you don't work hard do you you don't work hard do you let's see the positive statement now your brother works hard this is positive statement so the question tag will be negative doesn't he your brother works hard doesn't he so let us see some exceptions here i am right 
aren't I? I am right, aren't I? Generally, we need to say yam and I, but that's wrong. We have to use aren't I. I am right, I am a student. For this, question tag will be on time. We need to remember this. These are some exceptions we need to remember. I am not right. Yeah, my. Let's go to the park. The question tag is, shall we? Let's go to the park. Shall we? Wait a minute. Can you? Wait a minute. Can you? Have some more tea. Will you? Have some more tea. Will you? There is a temple in that street. Isn't there? There is a temple in that street. Isn't there? These are some exceptions which don't follow the rules. We need to just remember these. Thank you friends. This is all for today. See you in the next class. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon too. If you like the video, hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends too and uh, please comment don't forget to comment please comment and support my channel thank you all